this video I'll be replacing the um, engine air filter and the uh, cabin air filter in a 2014.5 Camry and I believe this works for the 2012 to 2017 um, Toyota Camrys. Uh, I'm not sure about Camrys before. Uh, as uh, I think as long as they have the 2AR engine, I think it's the same procedure, same place, I think. Don't quote me on that. So let's get started with the uh, engine air filter. Of course, as usual with Toyotas, you just unclip these things, these clips, and it comes right out. Uh, watch out for the tabs right here that you need to watch out for. Uh, they just come right off. And I can't do it with one hand, so you get the idea. Just slowly pull it out like that. Okay, so then you have... You lift it up a little. Remember, don't don't hit these uh, sensors in the back here. Don't damage them. Don't lift it too hard. And here's the filter. Um, like uh, like I did with my RAV4 filter replacement video, I simply vacuumed this, and there were just a bit of leaves and a little bit of dust. But certainly, if you vacuum it one time, certainly replace it next time. So next time, at about six years or sixty thousand miles, or about five years ish. Uh, it get, it's going to get really dirty, so be sure to uh, replace it. This time I just vacuumed it. I already did that, so I'm going to put it back in. And also, if you don't remember which way uh, you put uh, which way you put this filter, on every side it's it's round, right? You see here on three these three sides it's round. So on this side it's square. It's a 90 degree angle. So that goes in the back. So that it goes like this. So it says Toyota right here, everything, the wording, everything. Uh, the This part goes in the back, in the top left corner. And you just slip it back in. And, and of course, line it through these tabs right here. Make sure your filter is snug and um, it, it fits right here without any gaps or anything. That'll lead to some problems if you do. And last but not least, just put the clips back in. And then check for any gaps all around. And there you go. There's your engine air filter. Alright, so let's do the uh, cabin air filter right now. So first of all, um, sorry this, this glove box is pretty small to work with. So, um, pretty basic. You don't need to take apart the glove box door or anything because uh, it's just right here. So, um, first of all, you press on this clip and then it all comes out as one piece. And then second of all, there's another door. So there's one on this side, uh, the one clip on that side and then press on both and then they'll come out. So it'll just come right in. And third, you just pull this out. Uh, just like all Toyota OEM filters, uh, it says up, so it tells you where to go up. And of course, all these C's go in front. Okay, so uh, as for my filter, um, it's pretty dirty. I already vacuumed it. It looks a bit better. I didn't replace it this time, but it's definitely recommended you replace this stuff like every 30,000 miles um, or every three years. That's what the owner's manual says, and that's highly recommended by Toyota. So do that accordingly. But uh, for, for me and my parents, we're pretty darn cheap and stuff. So we just clean whatever we can, and then we'll replace these filters later. Uh, down the road uh, when it's like five or six years when it hits another 30,000 or 20,000 miles Because these things will get dirty a lot quicker after they're dirty and it makes your car a lot less efficient and stuff like that So we're gonna replace it later, but as for now we vacuumed it. It looks a bit better and so uh, It's the same thing when you um, put it back in 
Um, remember your C's. And then it says up. So, this part is the uh, front end. And this slip it back in. This one's much easier to fit in because it's only this big. Uh, there's that border and there's that border. So, I mean, there's no margin of error or there's no way you can actually screw up. So, you just put this back. And uh, remember, uh, it says up. Put it back in the correct way. this big panel piece right here. Uh, this side goes in first. Like that. And then you slip this part back in. Satisfying click. All done. Takes less than two minutes. Alright, so that's about it. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in another video.